I'm sitting here with Chris Jackson, co-founder of Grateful Fridays, and gratitude is really a key to health, spiritual, mental, emotional, even physical health. I wonder if you could say a little bit about gratitude and in relation to Grateful Fridays or in... Sure. Um, well, Grateful Fridays, I mean, core foundation is based on unconditional love, inclusivity, and abundance for all. And um, I'm not sure who gets the credit for this quote, but somebody recently has been reminding me that, you know, abundance loves gratitude. And, and really, whatever we appreciate, you know, you look at the word appreciation and appreciate means to grow and expand. So when we appreciate something, we grow it and we expand it. So what we're really looking to do with Grateful Fridays is appreciate all of life and grow it and expand it. It, it also has another function, which is it creates an opening. You know, there's a difference um, to reduce this to like very simple computer language. You know, there's a binary code to everything in life. We're either open or we're closed. And when we find ourselves in separation and closed off from each other, you know, we, we really live in like our own self-perpetuated hell when really all we want, all of us, is to be connected, you know, to, to be connected to each other, to feel loved, to feel appreciated, to feel accepted. And these are gifts that we give to ourselves and to each other through gratitude. Um, so that's, you know, where Grateful Fridays came from is it's, it's really the new paradigm, which is no longer um, putting power and energy into the separation between the light and the dark or consciousness and commercialism, but really finding a way that through commercialism, consciousness is actually able to expand and, and that both can come together and create a utopia for all of us. Um, you know, the, the biggest way that I can analogize this really is saying that, you know, over the past, I don't know, 50 to 100 years, we've seen different types of economic structures, like capitalism as an example in the West, which was very much celebrating the individual at the expense of the community. And then we had in the East, communism, which was very much celebrating the, the whole or the community at the expense of the individual. Neither of these really work. And, and so what we're seeing now is, is a collapse of all of these structures and systems because they're really dysfunctional. And, and what we're getting is the strength from both of those sides to see that what, what we're about here is celebrating the individual in the context of the community. You know, so, so that there is really a place for everyone being one in the one, which is the all, you know, where each of us are appreciated for our individual gifts in the context of the, the whole.